Hello, my name is Jörg Settelmeier. I'm working for AVL Software and Function Ravensburg. And we are at the moment in a laboratory and want to present the System of System Platform Demonstrator, which is um, provided in Christie. Hello, my name is Andreas Eckel. I'm working for TT Tech Computer Technik AG in Vienna. And we jointly set up this demonstrator here for the Crystal project. Crystal is an embedded systems project jointly funded by the Artemis joint undertaking and European national funding authorities as well as the 72 project partners. Crystal endeavors to research, develop and implement means and methodologies to seamlessly interconnect various tools for design, simulation, validation, verification and test. The project develops a so-called interoperability specification or IOS that defines the appropriate interfaces to allow the interconnection of various tools, etc., at no or at least minimum effort. Within the project statement of work, a number of use cases were defined that would allow to verify the seamless interconnection via the iOS approach in the frame of the system engineering environment section of the project. The SOS platform use case is conducted by the two Crystal partners, AVL Software and Functions GmbH, Regensburg, Germany, and TTD Computer Technik AG, Vienna, Austria. 16.7% of the project costs are borne by the Artemis joint undertaking. The national funding authorities contributing are the Deutsche Luft and Raumfahrt, DLR in Germany, and the Forschungsförderungsgesellschaft MBH, FFG, in Austria, contributing to the project cost accruing in Germany, which is 28.3%, and Austria, 15% respectively. The rest of the cost is borne by the project partners according to the share of the project budget. The SOS platform use case focuses on several points. First, it serves as a verification application case to show the interoperability of the tools used for design, simulation and configuration of the setup via the iOS. Secondly, it shows that embedded systems can make use of so-called golden models to potentially replace an expensive redundant system in safety relevant applications. Note that three systems generating three identical control outputs are needed to doubtlessly identify a faulty system. It also demonstrates the ability to transmit data generated and logged in a moving object like a vehicle can be transmitted in close to real time via internet to far distant base stations or labs by means of suitable high-speed data communication and wireless links. The SOS platform use case demonstrator setup shall simulate part of a vehicle powertrain basically composed of a motor and the appropriate motor driving unit AVL Hardware ECS by AVL and the gold motor model simulating running on the TDTEC data logger high performance computing unit as well as its data communication data backbone. The setup consists of the following. First, a TT Ethernet switch by TT Tech, a central backbone data communication element connecting the ECUs and the components within the vehicle and a connected Ethernet communication network. Second, the AVL hardware ECS control unit by AVL driving the motor. It is also connected to the data locker via a CAN bus link. Third, the data locker high performance computing unit hosting the golden motor simulation running in parallel to the AVL motor control unit. Fourth, a standard desktop computer used to connect to the internet for the data streaming. Fifth, a mobile device to receive the internet transmitting data and display it identical to the screen of the standard desktop PC using the TD Tech visualization client. So what you see here is the system or system platform demonstrator. We have here the ECU which is connected to this mini game. We have here the control box, which is um, for adjusting the speed, the pedal and the torque information. On the screen here on the left side you see the, the engine model of the demonstrator and on the right side is our demonstrator, our system system platform demonstrator with some information shown on the screen. For example, engine speed from the mini hill and the engine speed from data locker. In addition we have here torque from the hill and from the data model and also some additional information which are here. Beside there we have here the data locker as a box and the TT Ethernet and our mobile device which is connected via this mobile phone via GSM to connect to our system. And what we have now here we can see this if we change the displaying uh, here the information from our labor 
to our mobile device. What you can see here now is our displaying of the information from the system or system platform demonstrator and what you can see here the only thing what we have plugged on is our power support. This is a screen of the standard desktop PC that transmits the control data from the golden model and the AVL ECU hardware to the internet and finally to the mobile device or similar gadget. And this is a mobile device receiving the identical data via the internet and displaying it alike the screen on the desktop PC instead of the simulation of the wireless path by using the desktop PC a Wi-Fi connection to the GSM device and its connection to the local network of AVL via VPN was tested as well. The mobile device was then able to receive the data via the internet bridging the gap between the vehicle and the fixed station like the lab. Concluding the demonstration of the SOS platform demonstrator, we would like to state the following. This video showcases the connection between a vehicle and a distant lab or base station via wireless connection and internet, allowing to stream the data on the vehicle to the involved design team quasi in real time. Furthermore, it demonstrates the opportunity to reduce redundancy by implementing a cheap computing unit to run the golden model rather than inserting an expensive ECU satisfying high safety standard requirements. The functionality of the OS approach can only be indirectly demonstrated due to the functioning of the demonstrator since the entire design and development process cannot be made visible. However, the development teams on both sides have made extensive use on the XML-based exchange format for the development and simulation tools and saved a lot of time of design time since any tool integration problems could be solved at iOS level.